Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and today what are we going to do? First let's do some housekeeping as it were. Remember I have a giveaway myself and the inspector David Fernicola. This actually comes to you courtesy of the inspector. Vikings blade adjustable razor. Pretty nice. Uh, go watch the video from a couple of days ago for information on how to enter the giveaway and a timeless stainless steel handle, which is also very nice. And there's also an aftershave I, I uh, threw in. So go check out the last video. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. In fact, like any of the videos that that you enjoy. Today, by the way, we're gonna use St. James of London. This is a Cedarwood and Clary Sage. A very, very nice cream. Uh, the gentleman uh, at St. James of London, London, Todd, nice guy, makes a good cream. Also, we're also going to use the uh, Rockwell on six. Uh, this has been a good razor for me. I do like the Model T. It's working really, really uh, nicely. And, you know, in talking with people, it seems to me that um, I might have a little too much moisture in my... Cream here, so let me get a little more cream out here. Anyway, um, it seems like sometimes Rockwell might stumble a little out of the gate, like on, you know, uh, meeting timelines and so forth. Now that said, keep in mind Kickstarters or, you know, there's no guarantee when you're gonna get a product and so on. So it's really probably not a fair criticism. But anyway, from my perspective, they tend to stumble just a little bit. Maybe they overpromise, or or at least their you know production schedule may be a little bit aggressive, more so than it should be. But eventually, it seems like they end up making a nice uh, product. So if you can wait, you know, you end up with a nice razor. So this one has been working very well for me. Um, and a gentleman contacted me and I guess Rockwell has some sort of ambassador program where they're sort of working out customer issues and, and the gentleman said, you know, uh, if anyone is having fulfillment issues, like there's people out there that still haven't gotten their Model Ts, that there are people out there to help you. And so they're working to address all the customer service issues, or if there are any. Because I know I had received a couple emails when I did my first video uh, on this razor. Uh, of course, since then deleted, but where they said that, you know, they were still waiting on their razor. So if you're still waiting, you know, look for one of those brand ambassadors and, and they will uh, attempt to help you out. Or at least that's what he indicated to me. Uh, on six, I think it hits the... Sort of medium aggressive mark, uh, still not being threatening in any way. Uh, just just provides for a nice clean shave, in my estimation. Not as efficient, in my view, as the uh, marker of progress, but still a nice razor. Uh, and still efficient enough to get the job done, and probably all most people would need in terms of efficiency. There, there are certainly outliers who, uh, man, everything's itching on me today for some reason. Anyway, there's certainly outliers and folks who, you know, might require more aggression, but I think this razor would work for most people. Question is, should you pay 150 or whatever it goes for? I don't know the price. Again, it was given to me by the inspector and, and I like it. Uh, Question is, should you pay that price? And you know, only you can answer. It is a good razor so far for me. So that much I can tell you. I hope everyone had a, a nice Christmas. I did, I just got home a little bit ago, back to work in the grindstone tomorrow. I would taken the day off to uh, you know visit with family and so forth, but back to work tomorrow. I had a really nice time Nice Christmas with family. You know, my daughter, <clears throat> uh, her fiance, um, my mother-in-law, my mom, my dad, you know, 
nieces, nephews, uh, mother-in-law, father-in-law, good stuff all around. That's Those are really the things that are important in life, folks. Slow down, you know, take time to make sure you're connected. I have a tendency to spin off in my own directions and I have throughout my life. I get busy with things and I get sort of develop, you know, sort of a singular focus, but I try to be mindful and stay mindful of the fact that, you know, your family is the most important thing. So definitely embark on your hobbies. I, I think those are very, very important for your mental health to have hobbies that are unique to you that only you do, you know, um, and enjoy with other people and then your spouse to have their hobbies and so on. But also that joint family time and especially around the holidays, it's just really nice. And so I hope everyone, you know, enjoyed um, their family. We have a family member right now that's ill with cancer and it's pretty tough. Uh, but you know, they're fighting through it, maintaining good spirit. And, uh, so we just take it day by day and say our prayers, hope for the best and enjoy, you know, the time that you have. Um, it's really all you can do because no one knows, you know, how much time we have, any of us, regardless of what sort of shape we think we're in are not in. So treasure the time you have. Do fun things. Enjoy yourself. You know, stay connected with your family. I know, as I've said so often on the channel, that uh, there have been times where I'm distant, you know, from people and I, and so on and so forth. But I try to, you know, regain my focus and and appreciate just the times where folks are telling stories and just enjoying one another com one another's uh, company. Because all the great things in the world, all the shaving gear and all the electronic stuff we love and all that, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that much if there's no one around us. Or at least that's the way I look at it. So when you can enjoy, you know, your hobbies and then all the other family members and your spouse and then it's good stuff. So please take the time to enjoy those things as you can. Sorry for the sniffle. Really, really nice shave going here. I know I've been babbling on about family stuff, but you know, right, right after the holidays, I'm always thinking a lot about family and stuff and how much en enjoyment that I had. So bear with me on that. But I tell you what, the Rockwell is doing a nice job. Smooth. Um, really, really nice. It is long. If I had one criticism, and this would only be for people who are versed to long handles. It's got a long handle. It is a tall razor. So if you're just absolutely averse to long handles, it might not be your number one pick. But I think it would fit a lot of people. Uh, we're going to do some more comparisons like it against the fat boy and slim and, you know, maybe some other adjustables also. But got to tell you, this has been a nice uh, shave. I'm just sort of touching up here and just enjoying the shave. It's went pretty fast, actually. But I have enjoyed it. And uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, coming and watching these videos, the, especially, please again, uh, subscribe. It does help me out. Um, stick around. There'll be more content um, coming. I'm, I'm doing, you know, regular content now, so expect uh, more to come. I want to thank everybody for joining me again. Uh, please get out there and enjoy the rest of the holiday. Uh, I wish you all good health, happiness, and, and all the good things that life has to offer. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB. You're not. God bless.